Hi, this is Deborah Peters from Neuroengineering Institute, and I have an absolute whopper of a tool to give you today so that you can create everything and anything your heart desires. So today I'm gonna to teach you how I create experiences in my life that are mm, part of my dreams, my goals, my desires, the vision I have for um, my life. And I, I do this on a daily basis. So after I meditate, which by the way, I do for about 15 minutes every morning. So I'll kind of, let me start by just giving you the ritual that I go through every morning. So I get up in the morning and before I get out of bed, while I'm still lying in bed and I'm sort of coming into my body, if you will, waking up, I am reciting to myself how much I appreciate my life. And I, I just, it's not forced. It's something that comes very natural. And it might be the simplest thing as, you know, my lumpy pillow or how the sheets feel on my skin or how the muted lighting of the sunrise is coming through the blinds and the soft hue that it puts on my bedroom and lights up the colors on the wall. I might be thinking of how good it feels to be in my body and to be in this place in my life. I'm just going through this appreciation process. I like to sleep with a fan so sometimes when the fan is just lightly dusting my skin as I'm lying there coming awake, I am just appreciating the feel of the air on my skin. So you can pick something, anything. Look, there's no rules for this. Just find things to be appreciative about, okay? And then when I get up, I drink a bunch of water. So um, I usually have maybe two, three, four big, tall, eight, 12 gla ounce glasses of water. And I'm, I'm just kind of moving around my house and making my bed. Always make your bed, you guys. There's, you know, they teach that in the military for a reason. When you make your bed, you've completed a task of tidying up after yourself for the beginning of the day and it sets for the tone uh, it sets the tone for the day of how you're going to just take care of business all day long so I always make my bed and um, and just kind of you know putts around for a few minutes opening the blinds that sort of thing and then I um, I do my uh, affirmations in the mirror and I go through a few more steps after that, and then I do an energy pull. Now that's why I want to just kind of short circuit those other steps. I'll do a whole other video on the other steps I do. Um, but first of all, I want to just really give you the energy pull so you can start using this tool for your life as well. It's a great way to start your day. And sometimes if my day is going a little sideways and I'm not getting the results that I would like that day, whether it's through talking to people or getting people on the phone, engaging, whatever the case is, I'm, I will stop during the day and I'll do another energy pull. And I always do one before I go to sleep at night because it sets the tone for how my mind functions um, while I'm sleeping. So why would you want to do an energy pull? Let's start there. Um, I think in life, we're pretty conditioned to effort. You know, we're taught, work hard, that's the answer, uh, get more done, uh, multitask, you know, that it's all about the doing. So, and, and there's definitely value in doing, aligned doing, not, you know, um, massive action doing like some people talk about. So with the energy pull, Instead of you actually going out there to get, you're actually bringing it to you. And it's a much more powerful process. And here's why. The universe abhors a void. Well, what does that mean? So whenever we ask for something, 
in our minds and our thoughts, writing our goals down. Whenever we ask for something that creates a, a void, an energetic void, it creates a space in the universal fabric. And so the universe, what will it'll do when there's that, that space there is it will rush to fill that space. So when we, um, pull energy toward us, we're actually pulling in the energy of the universe to provide us with the things that we've asked for. And it takes um, the efforting out of life. It takes the striving out of existence. It takes the struggle out of accomplishment. So you don't, you'll probably have heard me talk about how I've been doing this workout series called 80 day obsession. And at this stage of the game, I think I'm on like day 62 and, um, it's been a game changer for me. You know, I used to own a gym, so I'm no stranger to workouts and lifting and nutrition and the right amount of sleep. You know, that's, kind of been how I've lived my life. And it's nice to have this 80 day obsession program because I don't have to think through the program. It's set for me and every day is a different workout. So I'm connecting into my body in a new way. And then of course there's the nutrition that supports the caloric expenditure and that's really powerful too. So it's kind of a no brainer thing, but what's cool about it is that it's consistent. And, um, so I was thinking to myself, you know, I'm having like these amazing results with this 80 day obsession. I'm feeling like I'm really getting into shape mentally and physically and emotionally. And of course, spiritually, cause I really dial into myself when I'm training. So what if I was to put myself on, um, a multiple day obsession around pulling in energy? And so I decided to do a 90 day obsession on energy pulls. And this is, um, this is the third week. I'm going into the third week right now and it's, uh, July 1st. So happy birthday, Canada. Um, and so I do this a couple times a day and I've seen a massive uptick in all sorts of cool stuff in my life from, uh, new speaking engagements. I mean, last week I booked five speaking engagements and they came from people that I had met just momentarily and, and other people that I'd connected with online. I mean, it just rolled through the door and it was effortless and it was fun because they're all really amazing people. And I feel really blessed to be able to connect with more amazing people. So I want to teach you this energy poll. I'm probably going to do two, three, maybe four parts to this. I'll kind of turn it into a little mini series because there's a lot that I want to share with you. Um, and I know that I have a bunch of clients that are like, Deborah, please record the energy poll so that I can do it on my own. Cause it's a little bit to remember in the beginning and then you kind of get the hang of it. So that's what this video is. I'm just going to record the energy poll and then you can, um, you can use it for yourself. So here we are at the nine, nine minute mark and I'm going to kick it in now. So if you want to skip all that prelude going forward, you're welcome to. And by the way, subscribe <laughs> and hit the bell so that you get my videos as I upload them. Okay. So here's the energy pull. So I want you to just sit comfortable in your chair. And I want you to go ahead and take a deep breath. And I also want you to go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath and then go ahead and just close your eyes. And this is a continuation of my meditation CD that I did last year at some point, but this is like a broken down piece of that. Not, not broken, but a, a portion of, okay. So, the energy pull looks like this. You're just sitting there nice and comfortable. And I want you to become aware of the space that's just outside of your skin. So that might be just an inch outside of your skin and just create an awareness around that with your eyes closed. Deep breath in. 
and just become aware of the space outside of your skin. And I want you to begin to expand that space to take up the room that you're in. So just expand that space to take up the room that you're in. And I want you to expand that space to encompass the city block or if you're in the countryside, you know, a two to three mile radius around you. Just allow your energy to just keep expanding out. And I want you to take your energy and expand it all the way out to encompass the country that you're in and to encompass the bordering countries around you in the continent that you're in. And now just go ahead and pop it all the way out to encompass the entire world. So you're outside of the globe and you're looking down at the curvature of the earth. And as you expand it out, I want you to go ahead and take it out past our solar system, out past the galaxy, and out into and uh, encompassing the universe. And when you go as far as you think you can go, I want you to go ahead and take it out a little further, perhaps out past the universes, the multiverse. And now that you're there, I want you to just dial into the sensations in your body of what it feels like to actually connect into the infinity of who you are. The endless, boundless infinity of who you are and how there's no end to you and how you just go and go and go and just keep expanding that out and expanding that out and expanding that out and expanding that out. And now as you expand it all the way out beyond the multiverses, I want you to imagine you have a ball of energy sitting in front of your solar plexus. And sometimes I'll just put that ball between my hands and I'll just kind of play with the ball like, like an accordion, just moving my hands side to side, to and fro, contracting them in closer, taking them in a little wider until I start to actually feel what that energy ball feels like. And where you can feel a little bit of friction between your hands because you know you're pushing against that energy ball and you're really connected. Good job. Now, in that energy ball, I want you to go ahead and put any game changer goal that you might have. It could be anything. It could be a money number. It could be like one of those things that when you accomplish it, you know your entire life has changed. It could be whatever you want. All right, and now that you've got it there, I want you to get into the feeling of what that game changer goal is like in your life. What is that game changer goal like in your life? Excellent. And I want you to see the difference it makes in your life. What else is going on in your life that this game changer goal has caused as a shift. And as you're doing this, I want you to start to pull energy. I want you to start to pull energy from the universes, from the multiverse. Pull that energy and pull it through that energetic ball. 
that has that game changer goal that's sitting in front of your solar plexus. Pull it right through the ball, right through your solar plexus in the front and out your solar plexus in the back. And just pull. Pull on that energy. Just keep pulling. Pull it all the way through. Pull it through the ball in front of you. Pull it through your back and release it out into the universe. Now what I do when I do this, I've sort of started to customize it a little bit. If you've ever seen that commercial where there's someone sitting in a chair and the speakers are turned up really loud on a sound system and they're blowing sound at the guy so much that his hair is like blowing back and his clothes are rippling in the sound waves. I want you to visualize the energy from the multiverses coming into every cell of your being through that ball and out through the back. And as you're pulling that energy, and I want you to be, be distinct. I want you to be demanding of that energy. You don't have to be aggressive but you can be very demanding of that energy and just pull it through you. And as you do that, see it just lighting up and pulling all the way through you from every of the furthest, furthest, furthest aspect of the multiverses. Just keep pulling it through, pulling it through, pulling it through and I want you to keep pulling it until you can feel this sense of vulnerability in your stomach. Just keep pulling it all the way through. Like I can feel this tickle in my stomach and I want you to just keep pulling it through. There's a sense of vulnerability in your arms, in your hands in your genitals, in your legs. You just keep pulling it through. It's like you're pulling the energy from every molecule of existence and you're pulling it through every molecule, of every atom, of every nano cell in your entire being. And it's blowing out the back side of your back. And now that you've got that rolling really strong, now I want you to imagine that energy coming back in through your back, out your solar plexus, and trickles out maybe to like a thousand people, all of the people that can contribute to your actualization of that game changer goal. Maybe it's just a few thousand people. It's just trickling out. I see them as kind of like these shooting stars that go out 360 degrees around me, touching out into, you know, maybe a few hundred, a few thousand people that you don't even know yet. And they're picking up on that energy. And that's your that's your signature stamp of who you are energetically going out into the universe and making those connections. And now you can trickle it out to millions of people, millions and millions and millions of people. And just see it trickle out. It's just effortless. It's just energy, star, star streaks of energy going out into the multiverse. And as that's rolling, I want you to do one more pull. All right, so let's start pulling that energy. Let's be demanding of that energy. Let's bring that energy in. And I want you to pull, pull it through the ball of energy in front of you that has that game changer goal. Pull it through your solar plexus and out your back and just keep pulling and pull. And just imagine you're being blown back in your seat by all that energy coming into you. Every molecule of every 
galaxy, of every universe, of every multiverse, and just keep pulling and pull and pull and pull.